It's always an interesting sight to see a wide-body aircraft on such a short flight, which is why I'm travelling with Aer Lingus from Dublin to London Heathrow. They operate the A330-300 on this route, which is normally used for transatlantic and international long-range flights. I will be showing you what it's like to travel on a 40-minute flight on a wide-body A330 in their business class products. However, if you are travelling with Aer Lingus in their airspace products on a longer flight, the chances are the seat and service will be pretty similar. Thank you for joining me in this review, and let's get straight to it. Welcome to Dublin Airport Terminal 2, one of two terminals here at Dublin. This terminal is served mainly by long-haul carriers, as well as being the home of the Irish flag carrier Aer Lingus. Aer Lingus have a clear dominance here, so it's very easy to find the check-in desk. I checked in online, however, so there was no need for check-in today. The check-in area is very well organised and has clear signage, so it's easy to locate security, which is located on the upper level. Security took about 5 minutes, and once you're through it, it's straight through to the duty-free area. Terminal 2 lacks in eateries, but has a great selection of shops of all different kinds. There was just a few cafes, however, and sadly the main cafe, Cafe Bar, was very busy and I couldn't find a place to sit, so I set up with a small snack from Dodo H. Smith and sat down to wait for my flight. However, I didn't have to wait long. The gate was announced for my flight, so I made my way to gate 418 to get ready to board the Airbus A330. I have to say, the main shopping area of the terminal is quite nice, but when you go down the escalator and through the gate area, it's like stepping into a different airport. It is very vast, with very high ceilings, and the air conditioning is great. It's a huge area with lots of seating, and would definitely recommend staying here if you have a longer layover than I did. I arrived at gate 418 where my aircraft was already waiting for me. At the time of filming, September 2021, this aircraft was registered Echo India Echo Delta Yankee and was delivered to Aer Lingus in June 2009. But it has now changed registered Gulf Echo India Delta Yankee and it's operating under Aer Lingus' new UK franchise, Aer Lingus UK. It's now time to board our A330-300 to London Heathrow. Welcome on board the Aer Lingus A330-300. My seat for today is seat 6K, a standard airspace seat. So then, welcome on board the Aer Lingus A330 in the airspace cabin. I have to say, I am massively impressed. I just love the airspace cabin, especially considering we operate on such short flights like this. This massive A330 is an absolutely incredible plane, and I am beyond excited to be flying on this on such a short 40 minute flight from Dublin to Heathrow. I will get into the seat area in more details once we get into the air, but my first impressions are very good. There is plenty of legroom and the seat is really comfortable. There is also lots of great storage, but for now let's push back from our gate and start our taxi to runway 28 left.
Two stations for cabin security check. Aer Lingus is the flag carrier of the Republic of Ireland and have a wide fleet of Airbus aircraft. As of 2021, they have 31 A320 family aircraft, including the A320CO and the A321neo. They previously had A319s and A321COs, but these are all now retired from Aer Lingus's fleet. Today, however, I'm flying on Aer Lingus's only wide-body aircraft, the Airbus A330. They mainly operate these planes on long-haul routes to the US and Asia, as well as some holiday flights to Malaga. But today, I'm flying on a short 40-minute flight to London, which normally would be operating on A320 or similar, but since the start of the pandemic they have been using these wide body aircraft on this route, transporting cargo to London and of course the usual passengers. Straight after departure the IFE crashed, but as we continued our climb to cruise it came back on, so before the in-flight service starts let's take a look at the seat area and airspace. The seat has some great storage areas and fully reclines into a light flat bed with two sets of controls to adjust the seat. The IFE is quite big and there is a remote control as reaching to the touchscreen can be quite annoying. The IFE has a great selection of movies, TV shows and games as well as info about the airline and today's flight, complete with my favourite, the live map. The legroom is fantastic and the taller passengers will be very comfortable in this seat. I'd be more than happy to travel in this seat on a 10 hour plus flight as it is very very comfortable. The service then began which was very similar to the last time I flew with Aer Lingus. However today they didn't have any snacks which is a shame but not the end of the world. So I ordered a Coca-Cola Zero which was complimentary with the class of my ticket. Shortly afterwards, we approached our top of the scent and the views of the sunset were incredible.
Welcome to London Heathrow Terminal 2. My flight with Aer Lingus was incredible. The airspace cabin was very comfortable and as an av geek getting on an A330-300 was a fantastic experience. As usual, the arrival process into Heathrow was pretty smooth and within 5 minutes I was in baggage claim. Hello then, welcome to London Heathrow Terminal 2 after my flight with Aer Lingus on the A330-300. That aircraft was incredible. Um, all my expectations were met. I have to say, in terms of a uh, non av geek perspective, just a standard passenger, the A321neo is probably a nicer plane. Um, it is quieter and it just feels nicer to fly on. The A330 is quite bulky and there was quite a lot more passengers on that flight than there was on the morning flight on Saturday. Um, the service was not as good as the outbound either. They didn't, their servers, uh, chocolate bars, they, they didn't have them in stock. So it was just drinks really, which is fine. The flight's only 40 minutes, but you know, didn't really meet the expectations I had uh, on the outbound. Anyway, that's gonna wrap up this review, so please do check out the blog. Check out the blog and have a great day. Bye bye.